Hello, good afternoon, dear spiritual, enlightened brothers and sisters, my wonderful friends, lovers. Thank you so much for popping in with me today. It's Saturday afternoon. It is February 24th, and it's about 1.52 p.m. here on the East Coast of the United States. So thank you for joining me. I'm popping in uh, this for let's uh, connect with Archangel Michael and our angels for wonderful prayer and messages uh, from them. And hopefully we can connect uh, together and join in with this powerful energy and help um, create a bunch of love and peace that's so much needed within our own lives and, of course, uh, sharing it with others. So I'm going to I'm go ahead and shuffle the Archangel Michael prayer cards. And for those who are popping in, uh, please go ahead and send me your angels so they can meet and greet with my angels and have a, a little bit of an angel party going on. So I hope um, you are enjoying this month of February. Um, it's almost over. <laughs> February it was a little bit of a quick month. I hope you're enjoying it. And as we're moving toward, oh, as we're moving towards spring, for those who are here, now this card came flying out of the deck. So this is the one I'm going to use. And if you have been following me lately, uh, there has been a lot of messages about love. And no wonder, <laughs> it's the heart month. And, um, and also a lot of messages about uh, stop finding fault with with people um, in situations, including yourself. But anyway, the card from Archangel Michael is eternal love. And uh, the card uh, reads, it says, help me perceive, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. Sometimes we're so focused on worry or things that are going on in our lives that we totally disconnect from the love. And with every situation and with every person, love is always present. And it's the only thing that is real. So if something terrible happens, uh, we're focusing on blaming or becoming angry or becoming frustrated, um, accusing, and we totally disconnect from our purpose, which is, is love. So we want to really try and connect to uh, your source of power, which of course, is eternal love. It's with, within you. And we want to ask our angels to go ahead and help us to connect to all that's present. Even if we're dealing with a mean and nasty person who is suffering, a lot of times, you know, when, when they are acting out in a dramatic way or a really hating way, is because they're frustrated. They're not either loving themselves or they don't feel love uh, because a person who is happy and joyful in their life and at peace, you know, would not act in a certain way like that. So we want to make sure that we feel each moment we're given the opportunity. Remember, God gives us opportunities to enhance our law of attraction and our karma. So he brings situations to us make it more uh, powerful, more stronger. He, things happen in our world or in our lives or in our neighborhoods, uh, in our relationships to give us the opportunity to make our lives better. Sometimes they're red flags and sometimes they're opportunities. Uh, believe me, you know what they are. You, because only you know how you feel, how you think how you uh, act uh, and how you perform. Oh, here we go. I didn't see any comments. Now they're up. Uh, hi, Devin. Thank you so much 
uh, for popping in. She's in labor. Congratulations, Grandma. <laughs> um, I'm so excited for your new grandchild, which will be, be born hopefully very soon. Hello, Paula. Thank you for the love, my friend, my beautiful friend. Uh, God love you too, uh, Nancy. Thank you so much for popping in today and joining with me. It's been a while, I know. And uh, so, but I'm glad to have this uh, time to come in and we can hang out together a little bit. So, eternal love is the message from Archangel Michael. So, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. So we want to make sure that we connect to that. Love is always present. Always with every single person in every situation. And we want to connect to that love, that power. That's what we want to give energy to. That's what we want to give power to. We don't want to give energy to the negative side of it. We don't want to complain. We don't want to find fault. We don't want to blame. We don't want to find problems. Uh, because that's when you do that. What you think, say, and do out to the universe, you're giving energy to, you're creating your law of attraction. So we don't want to give energy to anything that is negative, okay? We want to stay from a place of love and peace and give energy to that so that manifests and not um, the opposite of what we want. It's really quite simple, but we're so conditioned to believe and react to certain situations and things that uh, it can be hard <laughs> uh, because of, of growing up, what we were taught, uh, what, what surrounds us, what's uh, in our everyday lives, of course with people, um, we have our condition to act and think a certain way. But we can be conditioned to act and think another way too. And it's all about being aware and conscious of your thoughts and your words, what you write. Any energy that you send out is what's going to uh, come back to you. Okay, so this is what we uh, need to focus on. Okay, so I'm shuffling the Angel Tower of Cards. And we'll see. Oh, one slid out, so let's pull this one out. And it's the Emperor card. And Archangel Michael's on this one. It says organization, logic, structure, and discipline, leadership. It's time to go ahead and take the leadership role in our lives, getting organized, getting a thinking logically thinking from a place of love, structure, discipline, time to get things together, time to focus, trying to get uh, figure out what exactly we want, what exactly is the outcome that we want, and how we're going to get there, to figure that out. When you want to uh, manifest or create something in your life, of course, we all want wonderful things. We all want love, money, uh, jobs, home, whatever that we're looking for or that, that we need, we want to manifest them. Remember, what, what you want to create, what you want in your life, remember the process that you need to go through. And the process is not worry. It's not controlling. It is being. It's being in a place of knowing. It's in being in the place of creating. It's being in a place of awareness. And when we're in this place of awareness, of being and knowing, we know it's already, <clears throat> it's already manifest. It's already available. It's already there. Our prayers are already answered. You just got to wait for divine timing. So don't worry about it. Don't fear. Be afraid. Don't be concerned. Breathe and allow the universe to bless you. Allow God to bless you. Allow your angels to bless you. Connect. Stay connected to source and power. And this is where, uh, this is the process of how you're going to manifest and how you're going to go ahead and create organization, logic, structure, and discipline, leadership, 
take that leadership role in your life. We cannot be leaders to other people. You know, it's just impossible. We can help people, we can assist people, but we can't take the leadership role. No one should be your leader. It's your responsibility to take care of what's going on in your life, not anybody else's. So it's time for you to take the leadership role in your life. Stop being led by other people. Stop thinking what other people um, uh, find. Um, and then this comes back to what I was saying earlier. A lot of the messages the past couple of days was not finding fault, not uh, blaming, minding your own business when it comes to other people's roles in your life. You know, just don't say anything. People might come to you and ask for your advice, and that's fine, but you don't take the, the, the leading role in someone's life. You can't. You're not supposed to because you're supposed to be busy taking the leadership role in your life. And if you're taking the leadership role in your life, if you're in a place of awareness, if you're in a place of knowing, uh, you don't have time to be in anybody else's life or business. You don't have time for that. You have time. This is because you are co-creating wonderful things in your life. You're co-creating peace. You're co-creating love. You're co-creating everything that you desire because you're focused you're logical, you're structured, and you're disciplined in this. And you're sending out positive, loving energies and thoughts out to the universe, which is going to come back to you and manifest in a miraculous, wonderful ways. So Archangel Michael is reminding us, yes, take the leadership role in your life. Stop putting it off. If things are not happening with what you want to happen in your life, it's time to start here focusing on your thoughts your words your actions what you write staying positive i know it's hard but when you know if i have you know even, even with me dealing with everyday situations there could be times where uh, i have a little bit of um uh thinking um, maybe a, a on the negative side of something and I quickly have my angels tell me, stop that. Do you want that to manifest? Stop that. Change it right now. Stay focused on what you want to manifest, what you want to create in your life. Stay positive. Take, change it up right away. Just change it up. Uh, not all the comments are coming up, and I'm so sorry. Uh, I will read them later. So uh, they stopped at Nancy's comment. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to continue the shuffle and we'll see what our other two cards are. Okay, here we go. The strength card is next. And we were just talking about this, you know, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. This is harsh judgments on yourself and with others. Please pay very close attention to your reaction to other people, what they do. You don't want to attach yourself to the negativity to, of somebody else or a situation. So if your focus on a, a, a negative situation or problem, you're giving energy to that and you're connecting to that. You become attached to that. And so the universe recognizes, and God recognizes the energy that we send out. You know, it's not like, uh, because it is their energy. And so it's just like, uh, you know, when uh, the energy is right for a storm in the air's energies creates the storm and this is how we create storms in our lives if we connect to the negative energies of somebody else or situation then we're creating a storm in our life you don't want to connect to that you want to stay in a place that inner strength staying connected to source to power releasing harsh judgments on yourself and on others please do not 
find fault with anyone. Do not judge them. Don't, uh, don't be their, their judge, their jury, and their punishment. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's none of your business. Stay focused on what you're creating, that taking that leadership role and having that forgiveness and compassion. Those of you who know, know me know that forgiveness should never be. <laughs> and I say that because, you know, God loves unconditionally. And so if you love unconditionally from a place of love, you don't find fault. So there's no reason to forgive because you don't find fault with someone. Although here, here we are humans and we think of this forgiveness is a wonderful thing. And it is. <laughs> if you're holding on to something negative or something that someone has done, that you need to let it go. You need to, to definitely for, forgive. But once you forgive and you have this awareness of not finding fault, not judging people, then you're never in a place where you have to forgive because it just doesn't exist. And actually forgiveness stems from, from ego because it stems from finding fault with someone, feeling hurt by somebody's actions. You know, what you think is hurtful, somebody else doesn't see it that way. You know, they don't just don't see it that way. And you're thinking, why don't they see it this way? Don't they realize that they're hurting me? No, because you don't know what experiences, what they're going through, what situations or actions that they're going through in their lives. And their intent may not be to hurt you. Their intent may be a different way of loving you. So you don't judge people. Just let it go. When you send love to the situation, like the eternal love card from Archangel Michael, the prayer card, you just send love to it. People love people love drama. People love fights. They love all this this action. And I I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be attached to it. I don't want to cause problems or or havoc because it, that it creates it in my life, and I, that's not what I want. I want a place of love. So the strength card. Um, Archangel Michael telling us about eternal love and to be organized, organized, thinking logical, being structured and disciplined, taking that leadership role and tapping into that great inner strength that we have is the, the strength that makes us powerful, which is love, releasing harsh judgment, forgiveness and having compassion for those who are suffering, including yourself. But you don't want to attach yourself to your suffering. You don't want to make it bigger. So if you are sad or depressed or angry, you have to let it go and say, no, this isn't what I want. Focus on the desired outcome that you want, how it makes you feel, and being excited. Tap in, connect to those energies of the desired outcome, not of what's going on, because it's you're given the opportunity. These are opportunities or red flags to make changes in your life. Do not find fault with opportunities to make your life better. Do not find fault with red flags that God is sending you, telling you that you have to make these changes in your life, that this person or this situation doesn't serve you, so you have to make these changes. So these are blessings. So tap into that strength, that love, and say, you know what? This is a good thing. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. The queen of air is next. And it says objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in the situation. Again, being objective. Sometimes we have a hard time with that. <laughs> you know, sometimes we don't want to see things as they're presented to us, or it's hard for us to believe a certain person is a certain way. You know, we was just talking um, last night, uh, was, was with Tilly, we were talking about liars <laughs> and how, uh, you know, people that we love lie to us. And what I have known over the years is a liar is a liar. <laughs> a liar is a liar. And, uh, and a lie is a lie. I, there's no little white lie or a big lie or a, li a liar is a liar. 
And when someone shows you that they're a liar, be wary of what they say to you, regardless if they are uh, someone that you care about. You know, it could be a family member, it could be a child, it, it could be, you know, uh, your significant other, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, boyfriend, um, whatever that it could be, who it could be. But a liar is a liar. So I, there's no degrees in anything. We like to think that there's degrees in, in, in love. No, love is love. You know, a liar is a liar. <laughs> a hater is a hater. A lover is a lover. <laughs> uh, there's not one better than, than somebody else or less than somebody else. No, it's there. The energy is present. And this is how the universe responds, recognizes. This is how God recognizes the energy. They're not, not one person is more courageous than the other. <laughs> you know, fireman who goes into a building, burning building is courageous, but so is that five-year-old who's going to school for the first day. Courage is courage. Not one is better than the other. Okay. Being fearless or having fear is all the same. There's no degree. It's just the energy that's there. And we want to make sure that we clear away and recognize what are the negative energies and what are the wonderful ones and what we can connect to. Seeing the humor in the situation, which is so hard. You know, people say, that's not funny. <laughs> of course, somebody gets, I don't want to see somebody get, get hurt. Um, you know, but that when we have humor and when we laugh and, and we enjoy life, those are the energies that we want to create and take that leadership role in our lives. So clearing away all that no longer serves you. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the people that are in your lives. Who needs to stay? Who needs to go? Or a little less contact with them. Sometimes, especially when they're family members, um, you don't have a choice. But then again, there are family members who don't want anything <laughs> to do with each other. Whatever you do, don't find fault. If you're dealing, we're talking about liars, like there's a... If you're dealing with a liar, uh, recognize who they are, but don't find fault with them. Don't say, how dare them lie to me? Why do they lie to me? And and just over-examine and connect to that energy of lying and, and, and stuff. You don't want to get there. You don't want to be there. You don't want to create that. But you do want to recognize people who they are. Say, okay, that's who they are. That's who they're supposed to be in this lifetime. They're co-creating their reality. I'm not going to be a part of that reality. But I recognize who they are and I'm aware of it. And so they're not going to fool me again. Uh, you know, I'm smarter, I'm wiser. And I'm sending them a lot of love uh, because they need, they're, obviously they have a purpose or a reason for this or an agenda uh, for why they lie, and it's none of my business. Why? <laughs> none of my business at all. So these are the message of love cards, and we'll see what uh, love messages from our angels that have for us. Again, if, if you're making comments, I'm so sorry. They're not coming up on uh, the screen. I don't know why or how to fix it, but I definitely will see them uh, afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and put the deck here. The first card is true love. And Carveed says, this love is a once in a lifetime love. Now, if those of you are in a relationship and, you know, and uh, maybe you're wondering, <laughs> um, but you don't want once a once in a lifetime love. Uh, you don't have to wonder, you just know. And, uh, and you want to stay focused on that. But I also want you to know the true love comes from within. And you want to make sure that you stay connected to the love that's within you. Okay, the true love that's there. 
uh, the true love connection that we have with source and with power that brings more love into your life. And you know, everything, love is the only thing that's real. It's where all good things stem from uh, love. And this is where we wanna make sure that we stay focused, we stay connected, and we stay powerful to this source. This love is a once in a lifetime love. No one has to tell you that it is. You just know. And if you're concerned or worry about it, stop it. Allow things to happen. Allow things to unfold. Allow the truth to come to you. You know, if you're busy worrying or thinking about it, if it is, you're not connected. You're not enhancing the love. So stop thinking about it. Stop worrying about it and start creating it. Start making it more powerful. Focus on that and stop worrying if this is, uh, is this going to last. Is this going to enjoy the ride? Enjoy the moments. Uh, what you're thinking at this very moment, you are investing in your future. So don't start worrying about if this is the right thing uh, or if this is the right person or if this is going to last. That's not important. What's important is right now and enjoying the moments and the journey. Uh, you know, part of the, you know, if you go on a road trip, <laughs> Uh, part of the best part of the road trip is the journey stopping uh, and seeing uh, sights and and having lunch or dinner or maybe staying at a different hotel having the experience until you get to your destination and this is what you want to do if you're in a relationship stop worrying about it or focusing if this is going to last if this is worth it start attaching to the loving each other and connecting that way, enjoying the moments that you're spending, not being concerned or worried if it's going to last, if it's going to get better. Be in the present and dream of the future. We were just talking about that. When we dream, everything is possible. Being in the moment, creating, investing into your future, be in the present and dream of the future. Put yourself in your desired outcome, your dream. Put yourself that you're already there and how you feel. Those energies is what you want to create. I was known uh, throughout my life when I want something to happen, I stayed excited about it. And it usually manifests a lot quicker than I had thought. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, um, <laughs> so you want to make sure that you stay focused on your dreams, on your desires. They're already present. They're already here. You're just waiting for them to manifest. So stay excited. It's like a, a child uh, on Christmas Day. They know getting presents they don't worry about it they don't fear it they don't doubt it and so even the day after christmas december 26th they know next christmas they're getting gifts they don't worry about it they don't fear it they don't doubt it so whether this is your christmas eve and you have a short wait for your your gifts your manifestation or your dreams or it's the day after christmas and you have a whole year stay excited know that you are deserving of wonderful things and that they're already present. They're already present. <laughs> like a Christmas present, it's already present. It's already there waiting for you to tap into it, to connect to it so you can open it up and enjoy it. It's already there. God loves unconditionally. Remember this. It doesn't punish. We punish ourselves. We connect to negative energies. We create this, but God doesn't punish. He loves us unconditionally. And once we realize this and we stay in that place of unconditional love and know that everyone deserves it, you are not the person to judge what someone deserves and what they don't deserve. You, it's not up to you to judge. It's not up to you to find fault. How would you like somebody doing that to you? You know, 
It's not up for us to decide. Okay. Uh, so be authentic who you are. Be authentic to who you are. Are you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel? We don't want to put up a mask or a false sense of who we are. We don't want to say we're one thing when we're actually feeling something else. Our feelings are very important to us to to uh, to recognize how a, a a certain situation a person makes us feel. You know, and we don't want to deny that. There's this commercial that I saw earlier about this woman who is uh, depressed. And she um, she's on a depression medicine and she's looking for another form of medicine. And she has this mask that she holds up and she pretends, she says she pretends uh, that everything's okay, but it's not. Okay. Now, we were talking about liars earlier. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to others. And you don't want to be in that place. Okay, you don't want to, to be lied. Now, you don't want to focus on, if you're depressed, you don't want to focus on, on depression. Remember, whatever you put after I am, you create. So you don't want to say, I'm depressed. You don't want to connect to those energies. You say, I am working to get better. I'm working to be a better person. I'm finding, I'm, con I'm discovering the cause of my depression. And I'm getting rid of it. I'm loving myself. Okay. So you don't want to... Uh, Say you're okay and be a liar. The energy is when you're really, really not, but you don't want to connect to what you're not. You just don't want to bring it to surface. Yes, you need help. If you're saying you're going through something, you do need help. And yes, you want to connect to that to get yourself better, but you don't want to dismiss it, that it doesn't exist. You don't want to not, that. you want to make sure that if something's going on, you want to get to the cause of it. You don't want to just treat the symptoms you want to find out the cause of what's uh, making you sad or making you depressed or it's making you angry or it's making you frustrated. You want to find out what the cause of it is and, of course, deal with the cause and not just the symptoms. A lot of us, you know, when we take prescription medication and all, uh, it's good because it treats symptoms, symptoms to help maybe get to the cause, but we need to get to the cause of everything that's bringing discomfort in our lives. And then we can make the changes and make things better. Okay. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate the time and energy that you spent with me. So I am forever grateful. And, uh, and hopefully I can be able to come on um, a little bit more frequent than I have been. Uh, but thank you for being patient. And of course, your love and support. Have a great afternoon or evening or morning, wherever you are. I hope you are enjoying your Saturday and uh, looking forward to, to Sunday. And of course, a new week and a new month that's coming up, uh, which is very wonderful indeed. So have uh, know that you're powerful when you're knowing, when you have God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful, there's no stopping. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is so much needed. So thank you so much for the support that you do. And know that God blesses and loves you and so do I. I wish you all lots of love, peace, and of course, namaste. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love in you. You can't go wrong when you base everything from a place of unconditional love. No conditions. Not at all. Feels better when you give love. <laughs> so I'll talk to you all later. Okay. Enjoy. Bye-bye. I'll read your comments. It's not coming up. I don't know why. <laughs> so, okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.